Baron, I'm going to need you to put your, uh, your, your, uh, your analyst hat on. I want you to talk about these Nets, man. You know, I'm a Philly fan, so, you know, seeing Ben Simmons go over there was interesting. You know, what do you think about the Nets? They went from, you know, being a playing team uh, uh, and, and championship playing back and forth. Now they looked at it as a championship squad. What do you think about these Nets and how far they can go? Talent, man. They got talent. They got talent. They got two of the most potent offensive weapons, you know, in the NBA. Maybe one and you know, maybe one and two outside of Steph Curry. Mm. Um, but just like they got two scoring machines. Mm. Uh if Ben Simmons is healthy and they're talking about playing Ben Simmons at the five, mm. then you know, you're looking at another incredible mismatch situation, right? Because he's really a point five. Um and if he's aggressive, I think that it's going to cause a lot of problems for opposing teams because of, you know, his size. Um, I think the main thing around uh, Brooklyn is are they going to, you know, how is how is that chemistry going to be developed? Are they going to rely on their stars each and every night? Right. What does the team look like? Right. Who's stepping up? Who's going to have that season for them? Um, and then who's going to be their stabilizers, you know, uh, testament to great teams and the teams that win are the people who stabilize the team, the glue guys. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, can Brooklyn find those glue guys, um, and that chemistry between, you know, Katie and Kyrie. Now I'm, I want to ask you personally, now you, you did a great job being analyst. Now I'm asking Baron Davis just as a person, as a guy who played, you know, sometimes you can have all the talent in the world, but if the cohesiveness isn't there, it isn't going to work. What do you personally think about this Nets situation? Is it going to work? Yeah, the same thing I said before. <laughs> like, you know, I want it to work. You know, I love Steve Nash. I love Kyrie. Um, you know, I think they got a good good team, and I want to see every team play the best of their ability as a fan and as, you know, a student of the game. So, you know, um, it's early, right? Mm -hmm. Um Chemistry is going to be the dictator between all of these teams that got new free agents, you know, new additions, new weapons, right? And so how is that going to, you know, whichever team, one, stays healthy, right? Mm -hmm. Two, develops that chemistry, and three, get hot going into the playoffs. I think the league is not um, – it's not it's not a league that you're looking at one team that's like, okay, they are the favorites to win. Mm. So this league has a lot of talent. There are a lot of guns. There are a lot of young guns gunning for old guns mm -hmm. or superstar guns, right? Mm -hmm. So everybody's, you know, just kind of like it, it's, it's you know, it's the wild, wild west. It's the wild, wild east, right? Mm -hmm. And I think that this is going to be a season where, you know, early on, mm -hmm. uh, some of the younger teams will have a chance to put themselves in a playoff position. Uh, some of the older teams or teams that were in the playoffs could find themselves on the fringes. Mm -hmm. And then chemistry wise, you're looking at the elite and saying, can Philadelphia jail, mm -hmm. right? Can Brooklyn jail? What is mm -hmm. Boston looking like? Mm -hmm. You know, so Toronto is going to be back, you know, mm -hmm. Miami, what do they look like? Mm -hmm. What does Charlotte look like? Mm -hmm. So everybody has, you know, um, Chicago, right. Mm -hmm. Um, what are they going to look like, you know, when Lonzo comes back? Mm -hmm. So, mm. you know, to me, the East is heavy um, mm. and I'm excited. OK, now I want you to talk about the West a little bit. You know, the West Coast. I know you're from out that way. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about the West and specifically the Warriors. You know, what I mean, do you think they're going to run it back? They got the young gun and pool now, a third sp splash brother. What do you think about the Warriors chances? Uh, I think the Warriors got better this offseason. Uh, you know, they got healthier. Their young guys got an opportunity to play. Uh, I say the Warriors really are building something when you look at, you know, the young guys in Poole, Kuminga, Wiseman, right? All of these young guys, Moody, um, all these young guys uh, have the ability, right, to be the next versions of stars or all stars mm -hmm. in this league. And so, you know, you're getting a healthy Clay Thompson back. Right. You know, Draymond is stabilizing. I think the Warriors, you know, just like they were last year in a prime position to make another run uh, and defend their title. OK. Now, Baron, if LeBron isn't the GOAT, he's one of the GOATs. 
it's weird to see him not make the playoffs, you know, but now they got Pat Bev over there, a true dog. You know, they, they, they want to see if Russ can work out. What do you think about the Lakers' chances of actually making a playoff run or maybe even a championship run? I think Lakers is chemistry. Mm. Lakers is chemistry and Lakers going to be, you know, um, I think the Lakers have to focus on defense. Mm -hmm. If the Lakers are one of the top five defensive teams in the league, then you're going to see, you know, elite basketball out of them. Mm -hmm. And they're going to be, you know, in prime position to make a run for the title. Mm -hmm. um, if they don't focus on defense and try and beat people off talent, then I think that they're going to, they're another team like Brooklyn that's going to really have to focus on, you know, chemistry, camaraderie, you know, who's playing, you know, who's going to be the glue people, right? Because mm -hmm. um, everybody on the Lakers is, are, are, are going to have to sacrifice, you know, some type of offensive, you know what I mean, notoriety that they're used to getting in order for the team to win. Hey, sports fans, if you want to see more conversations with athletes and stars, check out these videos right here and be sure to subscribe for more from USA Today Sports.